Alright, welcome back everyone. I want to go over a travel ship loadout that has a SRV bay, which oddly enough the Federal Assault ship isn't bad. Um, there's a few things I want to go over that really make it terrible, but also make it decent. This thing's fully modded for combat and somewhat travel, so this is not something you're jumping 300 or 400 light years. Anywhere between 75 and 120 you can manage with a few key components. Uh, first things first, like I said, it's, it's set for combat, so I got military grade composites, uh, all four hard points, with some uh, utilities to the shield boosters and the kill warrant, just in case somebody interdicts you and you want to blow them up. The two things I do want to cover though is the for your optionals is you have to make sure you put the biggest damn fuel scoop you can get on this thing. The heat on the ship is outrageous. You can only literally spend five, six, sometimes seven seconds over the sun scooping. So the heat builds really quick. So you gotta scoop as much as you can, as quick as you can, and get out of there. Um, all these other ones like the bi-weaves, the military grade components, as in my cores here, those aren't really necessary if you're gonna fit the ship with the SRV bay for travel since there are very few medium ships that have that option it's just this is kind of a decent ship for a little bit of both more short distance jumps maybe four five six it's manageable with the fuel scoop if you put a smaller fuel scoop than the biggest one you can get you're either going to end up overheating taking a lot of damage or just skipping stars and running out of gas everything else in here is pretty much a rated. Um, I am actually right now looking at what it says about 17.1 light year jump with everything on it with the SRV bay, hard points, utilities, and all that fun stuff. I'm actually in the progress of getting to the engineer to uh, engineer my FSD and looking at doing some of the math with the current loadout with the hard points, utilities, core internals, and optionals, um, including the hull reinforcement package, the 40s. I'm probably going to be looking around a 30 to 31 light your jump with a federal assault ship with an SRV bay fully modded for combat which is not bad but once again I'm going to stress if you're going to do this you need to make sure you got the big fuel scoop and if you really want to fit it for travel and make more of a distance your priority you can take off the hard points you don't need the military grade or the whole import whole reinforcement packages it's just like this is going to be kind of a nice once I have the FSD engineered um, kind of a, a medium range travel and planetary exploration ship since I got the bay on it I just wanted to bring that I know there's other options for ships like none of the keelback it's just the medium sized ships with the SRV bay are kind of hard to come by and I don't really expect everybody to grant for a federal assault ship to be a travel ship I just that's what I'm currently using and I figured I'd bring up the fact that without that big fuel scoop you're going to be kind of bone for really any travel um, if I do strip this down for travel, take all the hard points, utilities, and uh, lightweight everything for my cores, I get about 25. That is still with the SRV bay, but you're completely defenseless and you're squishy. Squishy-ish, because the federal ships are hull tanks, so to say, but without the reinforcement packages and the military grade, it still can't take a whole lot of damage. But this is a fully modded for combat with SRV bay, and fit it for somewhat travel. Once I have the FSD engineer, it's going to go a little bit further. Um, I have other ships like my Diamondback Explorer with a 5 graded FSD with a 52 light year jump, which is kind of my, my Uber in space. I usually take that to get where I need to go for the 200, 300 plus light year jumps and just transfer things. I know that can get expensive, but that's also if you're going to do any kind of exploration any ship to make sure you have an ex advanced discovery scanner equipped on your ship to scan while you scoop, you actually make a little bit of profit while you travel. Um, other than that, that's really all I wanted to go over. I just want to touch on the um, the fuel scoop. Well, the modded FSD range is probably going to sit me around 30 to 32 if I do it right. And then everything else is really how you want to do it. If you want this thing like mine, modded for you know combat, somewhat travel. So let's say you, the Federal Shell Ship, isn't a terrible option if you want kind of a a tankier combat rated travel planetary exploration ship not really the best but I mean if you want something that kind of do to decent DPS I mean the 30 light year jump on a federal assault ship with SRV bay as in my opinion isn't bad at all um, you can take all this with a grain of salt like I said in all my other videos I'm not a pro and idiot of this whatsoever and 99.86% of what I know about this game I learned from other people 
I just figured if somebody runs across this video and has a ship similar to this, they can take notes from that and possibly build one either similar or better. Um, if you guys have any other ideas for the Federal Assault Ship for this multi-purpose combat travel, go ahead and leave me a note and I'll look it up and I'll see if I can respond with anything else.